Welcome to the Walk Boldly with Jesus podcast. I am your host, Katherine Duggan. I created this podcast to inspire you to walk boldly in your Christian faith. Each weekday, I will talk about scripture and how these verses can relate to your everyday life. Spending time each day with the Word of God is a great way to fortify your faith. I'm so glad to have you along on this journey. Let's get started. The title of today's episode is The God of Abundance. Today's episode will be a bit different. Yesterday, I was listening to a recording of my prayer group meeting from June 29th. I was not there as I was in Maine celebrating my parents' 60th wedding anniversary. We begin each prayer group meeting with a short teaching. When I heard the scripture verse she used, I thought it would be a great verse for an episode. As I listened, I realized what my friend Nancy was saying was something we could all hear. So instead of me talking about the verse this morning, you get the privilege of listening to my friend Nancy. I will come back at the end to talk about my favorite parts and to do the prayer in closing. We have two scriptures for today. The first one is from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And the second is John's Gospel, chapter 14 verse 12. It was this verse from Corinthians that really grabbed hold of me. It says, God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance so that you may always have enough of everything and may provide in abundance for every good work. Now, when Paul was writing this, he was writing to the church at Corinthians that were kind of stingy with supporting the other satellites that he had created. But this word is alive for us today. He's telling us about his abundance. So I looked up the word abundant or abundance or abundantly, and I found that it was used 113 times in the Bible. So I guess God wants to make it abundantly clear that he is enough (laughs) beyond our possible imagining. It's easy to shrink God down to our ability to understand him, but what an injustice that is. Perhaps it is a subconscious desire to keep things in control or manageable or understandable, but the Holy Spirit empowers us to let the fullness of God's loving might loose in our life. Yes, in our life, our sphere of influence, our now moment, whatever it is, this is where he wants us to be with the people already in our lives and those new people he brings to our attention. Miracles happen where we are at, at home, in the garden, shopping, driving, everywhere. We are him in that place and with those people. We can't lose because that's the gospel. Ask and you shall receive, Jesus says in scripture. A better translation from the Aramaic is keep on asking and you shall receive. Understandably, we grow tired. How many of us have prayed for family members for many decades? Well, we must keep on praying and praying with confidence, praying with thanksgiving, praying with trust. We must live out of the fullness of God and not the neediness of ourselves. God is abundant. Did he not change water into the best wine at Cana? Did he not have leftovers after feeding the multitude? Did he not restore health to all 10 lepers? Did he not forgive the woman caught in adultery or the convicted thief crucified beside him? We must not allow our experiences to determine our interpretation of scripture, but let scripture determine our experience. When we grow weary or falter, we must ask our abundant God to rouse us again we must encourage each other along the journey. Looking back on our opening scripture verse, 
God is able to provide every blessing in abundance. You may always have enough of everything for every good work. Let us place our trust in this word, in him, and take a giant step forward in humility and confident obedience. Wasn't that such a great teaching? I love that Nancy talked about God's abundance as we live in a world of scarcity. We worry we won't have enough food, money, friends, or whatever it is. Paul is telling us right here in this verse, that is not how God thinks. He is an abundant God who wants to give us more than we need. Probably my favorite line in the whole teaching is when she said, we must not let our experiences determine our interpretation of scripture, but scripture determine our experiences. This is something I will take to prayer and ask the Lord how I can do this, as I'm not really sure, but I know it was a powerful statement. It was also great how Nancy encourages us to start with those we already know, our current sphere of influence. I also loved that she said, we are him in that place with those people. And finally, I love that she encouraged us to keep on praying with confidence, praying with thanksgiving, and praying with trust. This was a short teaching, and yet there was so much in it. I've listened to it several times, and I'm still hearing new things. I encourage you to listen to it again, too. Thank you so much, Nancy, for being such a faithful leader in our prayer group and for allowing me to share your teaching so it can bless other people as well. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to bless all those listening to this episode today. Lord, thank you for Nancy. She is a blessing to our prayer group and to all who know her. Lord, we thank you for being a God of abundance. We thank you for giving us all that we need to get through the day. Some days we wish we had more, and yet we are thankful you give us all we need. You are amazing, Lord. It is amazing you know exactly what each one of us needs. And it is awe-inspiring the way you fulfill those needs at times. Such as someone miraculously finding $50 on the ground when that is the exact amount she had just asked you for. Thank you for being you, for caring for your children so well. We ask you to help us be more like you, Lord. Help us to be you to those around us. Help us to act in a way that when they see us, they see you. We love you, Lord, and we ask all of this in accordance with your will and in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey to walk boldly with Jesus. I look forward to meeting you here again on Monday. Remember to check out the link in the show notes if you want information about the retreat. I will have photos of the place we are staying very soon. I hope you are able to join us. It will be an amazing weekend, and it's coming up in just five weekends. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Have a blessed weekend. 